Greetings, this is August 19th at 5 a.m. and I am showing you some images a little bit south uh, near Logan Lake of wildlife that uh, is taking a vacation. We're going to look at Windy first. It's uh, northwest at 5 kilometers at the Big Bar Cam and there is variation depending on where you are whether you're on a plateau or a ridgeline or down in the valleys the velocity is quite slow and if we jump over to Vedette you can see it's coming from the north at two kilometers depending on where you are such as Cache Creek it could be coming from the southwest at three kilometers we're going to jump over and look at the Landsat satellite imagery from August 14th and August 15th. It's not revealing a lot of information. Uh, this passes our section, I think, approximately every 16 days, so we'll check back. This is from the 15th, and in the center of your screen, you can start to see the burn area. Uh, Green Lake is in the top and Cache Creek is at the bottom. Now we're going to satellite imagery uh, from the level zero modus yesterday, uh, August 18th. And this is the region uh, we can see from Kamloops all the way over to 100 Mile House. So we're going to zoom in. We see Clinton on s left of center and Bonaparte. Uh, right of center and you can see differentiation in the color of the forest station in the center of your screen. We're going to zoom in. Uh, Loon Lake is towards the center of the screen. Chasm is uh, on the left hand side. And there we have, we're looking up towards Green Lake and you can see the highway on the left hand side. Uh, near 70 mile house and now we've moved further south and we can see the area around Cache Creek which is obscured by clouds in this image we can see the Boston Flats a little bit and primarily the area around Hyheum Loon Lake in the upper portion of your screen you can find the links to access these systems in the description below now we're looking at the infrared data from the NRC for 6.41 p.m. yesterday and I'm going to roll into a map four hours later at 10.38 p.m. PST and you may have noticed the hot spots indicated around Highway 99, Highway 97 have disappeared. We'll take a closer look at the area south of Hyheum uh, near Hudson Bay Lake, uh, south of Young Lake, west of the Rayfield River, north of Marsden, uh, west of Little Green Road. But first, here are those three hot spots that disappeared at approximately 1038. They were situated north of Highway 99 and the Lower Hat Creek. Now we're looking at infrared hotspots one kilometer south of High Heum and another four kilometers south and another grouping five kilometers southeast. We're also seeing some north of Hudson Bay Lake. We'll move further north and we're seeing a group approximately two kilometers south of Young Lake situated just northwest of Lunch Lake and at the bottom of your screen you can see that group north of Hudson Bay Lake. Now we're looking at that section of the north flank and a lot of hot spots have been popping up over the last 24 hours. If you look at the bottom of your screen uh, we've got one on the ridge line uh, north of the Bonaparte uh, then above that we have three just west of the Rayfield River uh, moving over to the left of the screen, we see one north of Marsden Lake. And close to the top of your screen, east of Green Lake, we've got uh, a series of hot spots showing on either side of North Bonaparte Road at the southern slopes of Jim Mountain. And 
that's getting close to the intersection with Little Green Lake Road. We're going to take a look at an overview of this northern flank and its proximity to lakes further north. There is a scale at the bottom of the screen, lower right, and I'm calculating approximately 15 kilometers southwest of Highway 24 uh, at Bridge and Sheridan. Please check out the TNRD and Caribou maps. Uh, they're linked in the descriptions below and that's where you're going to find the most accurate information on where the fire perimeter is and its proximity to different communities and addresses. We are just looking at a close-up of the forest station now in the area and you can see the infrared indicated in the lower right hand portion of your screen. This is as far north as infrared is being displayed for the Elephant Hill wildfire on this satellite system. For all the latest information on evacuation orders and alerts, please check the links below both for the TNRD and the Caribou Regional District and also check with BC Wildfire. They have a map and it'll show any lightning strikes. It looks like uh, we've got a bit of a reprieve with this cooler weather. Thank you very much for tuning in and be safe everyone.